Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be going through Safe Moon. Now, I want to be giving you guys the latest updates, obviously, but I want to also talk about the stuff that people are spreading fake news. Now, if you guys are new already, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell as well. You guys know how bullish I am on Safe Moon. I've been calling it for longer than two weeks now. And I just want to say, Safe Moon is a long term play, and there's so much potential in Safe Moon. So make sure you look into it. My name is ODR, Own Damn Research, that's the key to success, you gotta know what you buy and hold. And I also wanna say guys, Safe Moon is a new token and it spiked up so much. Safe Moon is the first ever cryptocurrency to have this big run up compared to any other cryptocurrency out there. What it did in 24 hours, what it did in one week, what it did in two weeks, no other cryptocurrency did that in the history of cryptocurrency when they launched. Safe Moon is already big. I'm pretty sure the developers of SafeMoon didn't expect this as well. And I just want to say we're at the early stages. Be happy you got in at the early stages. Once again, this is only for entertainment purposes only. I'm just giving you guys my own research, my own due diligence, my own opinion, my own take. I have a free Discord as well where we talk about SafeMoon. Come join. Free to join. Link in the description below. If you guys want £200 worth of stock for free, use that sign up link to free trade. If you want $25 for free using crypto.com, use that referral link in the description below. I have a second channel. If you want to come support me there, very, you know, pretty much appreciated. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. Now let's get into it. So there's a lot to cover in this video. Share this video around on Reddit, StockTwits, Twitter, Discord, wherever you can. Let's get the Safe Moon family growing together. Now I just want to say, you can see that big dump. That big dump was the dump. I'm so happy this dump happened. You know why I'm happy this dump happened? You know all these, all the people that panic sold here, they panic sold just because Safe Moon AMA event was unprofessional, just because they weren't wearing any suits. Um, I was laughing, and you see this panic sell here, you see that previous panic sell here, these big red candles here, just before the other one. Let me try and make the charts uh, smaller. You see these ones here, the five one there five red candles there why did that happen earlier because some people just didn't do enough research and they believe what other people say for clout i'll be getting into that as well if you bought any cryptocurrency you have to know what you buy and hold and if you're in it early you need to know there will be a lot of bearish people coming at you even though you're a strong believer they will do everything in their power to make you sell they don't want you to win it's sad reality some people don't want you to win they will do everything in their power to make you sell and buy what they own. And that's not how you win. You win by holding and doing your own damn research. That's why I'm holding strong on Safe Moon long term. People selling? Little did they know on Trust Wallet, I've been given free tokens by them selling. So thank you very much. And I've been eating the dips, especially this big red candle here. Now, let's get into it. So we talk about the AMA event after, but I also want to talk about the first scam that people have been talking about. Now, war on rugs. Where is their reliable source? Where is the credibility? Who trusts them? You know, are they a government? Are they a president? Who are they? You tell me what. I'll tell you. This is a Twitter account made by a bunch of kids for clout. Bunch of kids for clout. Their layout says it all. This is made for just clouts. You tell me now, yeah? Look at Safe Moon. Anytime they talk about, look at the normal tweets, yeah? They won't gain any attention. But ever since they've been talking about Safe Moon, telling people it's a scam, they've been getting a lot of clout. So they kept saying Safe Moon's a scam. They are chasing clout. They're calling Safe Moon a scam because they know how big Safe Moon went. Other, and unlike any other cryptocurrency when they first came out, they know how big Safe Moon is already and how many people are getting in on Safe Moon. So they're calling it a scam, knowing that they can grab some followers by doing so for no reason these lot are clout chasers and i don't want to ever see them on my timeline ever again so let's get them out of the way now let's talk about the ama event so you guys see the ama event look let me tell you something all right safe moon is a new cryptocurrency they've just opened up and in weeks they're blowing up they got more than three hundred thousand followers and they've been pumping up so much social media influencers are also pumping up safe moon now you guys need to know, I'm pretty damn sure they didn't expect this, alright? They didn't even expect this themselves. And 
you know, the fact that this happened, they are working even harder. They even apologized about the AMA event. Like, it didn't meet our expectations, like I said. It wasn't, you know, professional enough. But who cares? Come on, it's a bunch of people, developers, going on camera, probably for the first time ever in their life, and talking about Safe Moon. Like, you know how hard it is to put yourself on camera after, you know, um, you get so many attention in just the opening days that you did not think will happen? I'm telling you now, I don't blame them for being, you know, unprofessional. They had to rush into it, you know, they still devel- delivered a good job, they still gave us an event, they told us what's coming, they told us partnerships are coming soon, big exchanges are coming soon, at least they mentioned that, but I just want to say, in future events, they learn from their mistake, that's how you succeed, learn from your previous mistakes, they learn how unprofessional they were, they knew that they didn't meet their expectations, and from us giving their feedback, us giving them feedback, they're using that feedback like I said here, you can even see here, and they are going to keep going from here. So it's good that we gave them feedback, whether we're bullish or bearish or not. We gave them feedback that they accept, and I like that about them. Now let's get into Binance, alright? You guys expected Binance listing on AMA event. Guys, do you guys need to do some DOD again? I mean, uh, DD again? Did they say DOD? Do you guys need to do some research again? Guys? You see Q3 2021, yeah? You see Q3 2021. Binance is here. That's their goals for Q3. All right, we're nowhere near that yet. We're not even in Q2 yet, basically. Look, Q3, holding the line. We'll finish our crypto educational app and begin our charity project. We'll begin a community listing donation rates for several exchanges. Coinbase, Binance, Kraken. We'll finish our NFT exchange and release our first video game with SafeMoon integrated. We'll be expanding the team by 25% and do a community meetup if restrictions allow it. We will also be integrating with other large exchanges. Binance. Binance. Come on. Binance is one of them. They need the liquidity to be on exchanges. And it's happening. They're so far on a lot of exchanges. And they're, they're a new token that's still growing. They're going to start off with the small exchanges. And grow on to the big one. Binance is going to be a big one. And they're going to get on Binance Q3 or Q4 in 2021. Alright. They didn't say. Well, um, You know. Listen. We're a new token. We're going to be listed on Binance. Now. No. They're teasing it. But. Q3 is where they set it on the roadmap. Do some DD. Come on. And they got 1 million holders already. Massive achievement. And I'm pretty sure they didn't expect any of this. And they are working as hard as they can to meet our expectations and help us out as well. And they're penalizing people that are holding short term. Which I like. Because I believe everything you know should be held long term. Trust the project. Trust the process. You make more money in the long term than short term. Short term swing traders won't make anything go up. It will just make everything go down. That's why I don't like swing traders. I'm, I hate swing traders. I know you make your money. Nice. But most of us are in it for the long term run. And you swing traders are putting us back on that. That's why I'm not a fan of swing traders. And I'm very happy that SafeMoon are penalizing swing traders. They're not allowing it to happen. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell. Share the video around. Don't worry about SafeMoon. Long term play. It's going to play off. Come join the Discord if you need some motivation. And you know help around it. We're here to help. Why not? Bye bye.